topic is about zero product property AB is equal to zero. The principle of zero products state that if the product of two numbers is zero, then at least one of the factors is zero. So if AB is equal to zero, then either A is equal to zero or B is equal to zero or both A and B are zero. So example, in order for us to understand the zero product property, so solve for x plus 2, x minus 4 is equal to 0 for x. Now, applying the principle of zero products, you know that if the product is 0, then one or both of the factors has to be 0. Then, we have quantity x plus 2 quantity, x minus 4 quantity is equal to 0. So we separate the two factors which is x plus 2 equals to 0 and x minus 4 is equal to 0. By applying the principle of zero product property, we need to use the addition property of equality by eliminating the number on the left side and by transferring it on the right side. So by doing it, we just add negative 2 on both sides. So we got x is equal to negative 2 because positive 2 minus 2 equals to 0 and 0 minus 2. 2 is negative 2. Then on the on this factor x minus 4 is equal to 0, uh, we need to add both side by 4. Uh, the process is the addition property of equality. And then we got x equals to 4. So now we have the answer x minus 2 and x is equal to 4. That's the answer. Now by checking if the value of x is correct, so, x plus 2, quantity x minus 4 equals to 0. So, when we apply the value first, which is negative 2. So, neg quantity negative 2 plus 2, quantity. And quantity negative 2 minus 4, quantity is equal to 0. So, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. This one. And negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. And 0 times negative 6 is equal to 0 equals to 0. Therefore, our value of x here is correct. Then here, so 4 plus 2, quantity 4 minus 4 equals to 0. Then 4 minus 4 is 0. Then we got 6 times 0 equals to 0. And any number that multiplies to 0 equals to 0. So therefore, x is equal to 4 is the solution or x equals to 4 is correct. Then we try other number substituting to the given factor. So we have x plus 2 and x minus 4 equals to 0. By substituting uh, 3 as the value of x, we got 3 plus 2 and 3 minus 4 equals to 0. 3 plus 2 is 5 and 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Then we got negative 5 is equal to 0. So therefore, uh, aside from to answer the negative 2 and positive 4, there's no other answer. So it means we have two solutions only, which is negative 2 and positive 4 as the solution of the given equation. Because in quadratic equation, the maximum solution is 2. So that's it. Thank you.